Nate Walker, and I drive a 2016 Subaru WRX STI. Being a car enthusiast, to me, means building something that represents you that everybody gets to see. It, it allows you to bring yourself closer to people that you wouldn't normally interact with. There's a lot of great people out there, and by doing that, you open yourself up to so many opportunities. You don't have to say a word. People can enjoy it, they can love it, they can hate it. It doesn't matter, you know, it, it's you on, on tires. I drive it constantly. It's more of a daily than it would be a show. I, I go to shows because I, I love to hang out with everybody, you know, seeing the other cars that are there, being in the, the whole vibe of everything. But for the most part, it, it's built to just drive around and, you know, have fun with. In the past few years of having this car, just the, the people and the family that I've gained is huge. And, you know, I'd never expected that. When I got the car, I think I got excited because I wanted to kind of document and follow what I was doing on that. More so just for me, just because it was, it was a hobby, it's kind of fun to, you know, shoot the car and, and, you know, go park places and stop in the middle of the street and make everybody angry and, you know. Then it started to grow pretty quickly. It's a little weird at first because you're just like, eh, it's, it's just what I drive to work. You know, I just wanted to make the old ladies in traffic, you know, glare over and wonder what, you know, what it is. At first, you know, you kind of just have to keep on doing what you're doing. The car is for you and in, in the end, you know, that's, you're building it to enjoy. A lot of people, you know, they almost cheer you on to do things to your car. You're definitely not on your own. Once I kind of figured that out, it was all, all downhill after that. <laughs> First things I did was like, you know, access port, intake, you know, the basic beginner's pack for the for the addiction, you know. <laughs> After that, I said again, you know, I'm not going to mess with it, I'm not going to mess with it. You know, you know how that goes, that, that never lasts. It, there's no way to stop, especially with this car. It's Cobb Stage 3, so it's injectors, rails, fuel pump, lines, E85, the intake, intercoolers on there, exhaust. I'm sure there's a lot more. It's just like an avalanche of bolt on this and bolt on that and swap this and I think that's what makes it so great. Day job I do pyrotechnics and special effects. Houston Astros, uh, Texas Rangers, UT football, UT basketball, things like that. We're bouncing around Texas a lot. The vinyl wraps are kind of a side thing, car part money. Keeps you out of trouble with the wife when you're able to make you know some extra money on the side and buy your car parts and it, it didn't get sucked out of the account. You know, it's kind of you still get in trouble, but it's not as bad. I have wrapped my car entirely too many times. Over the weekends, a lot of times I'll catch up on the wraps that need kind of finished up throughout the weeknights after the shop. This weekend, I was just finishing up some race cars. I guess the tan kind of brought a military-esque kind of a machined kind of look. The wide body lines are very sharp and really aggressive on the, especially the front. I think that plus the color just kind of has a uh, Transformers vibe, I guess. I don't know, I've been told that it kind of has this rally-esque kind of look to it, machined kind of look, so. I had no idea what it was going to turn out like. I think as I started adding the, the panels of the, the tan color on, it started to kind of come to life, and that's when I realized it's going to have a totally different feel and a totally different look than, than what I even thought of it. Like. I think it's just, it's cool to see it uh, grow and expand into something that seems to have like life.